His methods are unorthodox, his critics are many, and yet a waiting list full of hopeful patients believe that one man has a miracle cure that can help them reclaim their lives. While alternative treatments for de debilitating diseases are not a new concept, one chiropractor's unusual brand of surgery-free healing has made a major splash, and ABC's Juju Chang went in for a closer look. And you play other sports besides lacrosse, you play hockey as well? Yeah. Will Arlen has a traumatic brain injury, and he's so sensitive to light, he wears sunglasses all the time. How's your appetite? Good. His family believes this doctor holds the key to a miraculous cure. Ted Carrick is a chiropractor by training who specializes in the brain. That's what I want to say. Okay. Let's take your glasses off. Have to do this stuff. And just sort of look at my nose if you can. The 17-year-old describes his migraines like a knife stabbing his brain. He can barely stand up on his own. I need to let go of you now. And he has trouble moving his left arm. Let's have you just come up and just walk over to that platform and then come back here. Just walk as you would normally. It all started with a vicious hit during a lacrosse game. The severe concussion sent him into an eight-month tailspin. Tell me what the downward spiral was like. Will's a pretty active kid, straight-A student normally. and outgoing and all that. They had to pull him out of school again a couple weeks ago. It's here at Life University in Marietta, Georgia, that Carrick is a pioneer in a field known as chiropractic neurology, a treatment he's been perfecting for 33 years. When hockey superstar Sidney Crosby suffered serious concussions, he praised Dr. Carrick for saving his career. Let me see you do it on your own. Carrick says it's all about reactivating pathways in the brain by stimulating parts of the body. Is this a miracle cure? Well, I think miracles are things that only happen once in a while. And what we find is that the miracles that we see, we're seeing them frequently, every day, so they're not really miracles. What we do is amazing because of what humankind can do. Can you see your left hand there? In this exercise, Carrick uses a full-length mirror on right Will to trick his mind's eye with his own mirror image of a healthy arm in order to reprogram his brain. I want you to lift your hand up all by yourself now, your left hand. Lift it up. A few minutes ago, Will couldn't lift his left arm without help. But now, this. For Will, it's huge. It okay, good man. But the big gun in Carrick's arsenal is this machine, which looks like it belongs to NASA. Looking good. Carrick says the gyro stim helps stimulate parts of the brain that may be damaged. I realize what I noticed is like my breathing feels like it's not as shallow anymore. Good, You're starting to breathe better. Were you skeptical? What, what did you think coming in? Uh, I'm very skeptical, but uh, the thing that really sold me was the first day we were here is watching the passion in Dr. Carrick's eyes. He's got a big heart. That's right. Critics say Carrick's results don't pass scientific muster, no, and his success is often dismissed as placebo, meaning the patients yeah, feel better because they believe in his cure. Nose. How can you be so sure that it's not a placebo? Well, if it was placebo, we're doing a pretty darn good job of it. We don't do anything that is really original in our work. We just combine things that other people have done in a, in a different fashion. Yet despite the criticism, most of Carrick's patients are referred to him and by neurologists. Right and he says he has a months long more waiting list. For you. Then turn around, come back to me. Stacy okay. Hubbard traveled over 900 miles to find out why she That's can't it. walk more than a few steps without stumbling. Tell me what you feel. I am a dizzy, unbalanced mass. A hands-on mother of two, she barely got out of bed for 10 long weeks. If you could pick one thing, what's the worst thing that you'd like me to fix for you? I wouldn't be able to hug my kids after okay. school. Okay. I'm going to agree to methadol. Okay, let's go. You did these arm movements and you reprogrammed her brain? Is that fair to say? Absolutely. And it happens very, very quickly. I look very, very carefully at what's happening with her eyes, with her head, the degree that her pupils are open or closed, uh, and then her ability to track. And we find that if we do a certain motion and we get a different tracking, we say this is going to have a good probability of working. Stupid floor. <laughs> this is my problem today. Over time, Stacy conquers her biggest enemy, the pattern on the hall carpet. I think I got this hallway today. Yes. I totally did it, and I'm excited. It's day three for Will. I've been happy since yesterday for the first time in a while, so I mean, it feels good to definitely have someone who knows what they're doing. 
Is that why I don't have the feeling in the, my left side? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty significant so that if your brain doesn't know where your hand is, it doesn't control it. For Will, okay, just kind of doing kind of that with his fingers is the first <laughs> glimmer of hope. Nice, eh? Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Let me see you walk. Swing your arms like a soldier. And he's even able to swing his left arm. That's huge, Will. It's huge. It's a lot looser up there. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Okay, show me off. Go, go, go. <laughs> On average, the week-long therapy costs $5,000. For Stacy, it's worth every penny. When she gets home from the clinic, she's finally able to hug her kids on her own two feet. These are the glasses I used to wear 24 hours a day. And Will, who couldn't tolerate any light, is now able to get around without sunglasses. Never mind concussions. How can we save his hair? No longer on the sidelines, Will is slowly getting back in the game. It feels good to be back on the ice. I'm Juju Chang for Nightline in Marietta, Georgia.